Where Jalla no can know. But I know who I'm speaking with. What? Where? Okay. I will meet you right away. Thank you. But our attention is needed by the way. Both of us? Yes, both of us. Let's go. Uh, my princess, please take care. We'll be right back. I hope there's no problem. There's no problem, my girl. Excuse us. We'll be right back. Take care. Take care of her. My friend. Please, I need a drink. Uh -uh. You go to the kitchen and get as many boxes as you want. I know you know. No. I don't want champagne or any of that. Mm. I want fresh bar wine. Okay. I'll save you. And that's because you're my best friend. Thank you. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay. Me crazy that the queen and the king are not even picking their calls. But I want the village to be there. But the village is too far. Hi. Oh my god. I just hope my husband is alright. Just hope he's fine now. You mean she has been calling you? Wait, wait a minute. Did you take her call? No, my king, I didn't. I'm glad you didn't. She has been calling me too. But I don't know what to tell her. I'm completely confused. What do we do next? My king, it's not the time to be confused. Rather, it is time to think like a man. I the great king that you are. Stop being confused, my king. I think we should go ahead and tell her the truth. That her husband, the prince, had an accident on his way to pick his friend after a traditional wedding. But that is the only way out. We can't continue to hide it from her. She must be very worried and waiting for her husband to come back. Eh? You know how it is with these newly married young couples. I think you're right. Thank God he did not die in the accident. Yes, we thank the gods. So, how is he doing right now? He's still sleeping. I just stepped out of the world to talk to you. So I will not disturb him. Have the doctors seen him since I left the hospital? Yes, he just left his word about a minute ago. Ah. So, tell me, after telling the princess about the husband's condition, what next? My princess. I know you have been very worried about your husband. Your Highness, I couldn't sleep last night. Please, did you or anyone hear from him? Yes, we did. He is fine and very much alive. What do you mean by that, Your Highness? 
If he's okay like you rightly said, why didn't he come home last night? I don't know. Just take it easy. No, it's not really what you're thinking. I can only ask a question. I didn't see him last night. I was very worried. Why didn't he come home? My dear, your husband, the prince, had an accident yesterday on his way to pick his friend. As I speak with you, he's still at the hospital. <laughs> this has got to be a joke. Your Highness, you're joking, right? My princess, please calm down. My princess, the king will never joke with issues concerning the only heir apparent to the throne of this kingdom. I am not joking. You've not said a word since you returned from the hospital. My princess, talk to me. How did it go? I don't just know what to say. I don't just know what to say. I'm totally confused. What do you mean by that? You did not see your husband, the prince? Doctors are always playing with one's emotion. I don't trust them at all. We serve in less than 10 minutes. Make sure you're fast about it because I'm famished. As it pleases you, Your Majesty. My king, do you think the doctor told us the truth? I don't understand. But do you think there's any reason for him to lie to us? He might not want to hurt us by telling us the truth. Why do you think so? He knows that Frank is our only child. Besides, the presence of Princess Jade, his newly married wife, could be a good reason for the doctor not to tell us the true situation of things. My queen, every medical doctor is expected to say the truth about the health condition of any patient under their care. So, I see no reason the doctor has to lie to us. Your Majesty. My husband, I don't know. I don't 
don't just know why my mind is telling me something else. I greet you, Your Highness, King Chinedu Njoku, as the Gumba the second of our great kingdom. Greetings to you too, Anadike. The eyes of the gods. The gods you sent to my shrine and said, I am needed here, urgently. And I ask, is everything all right, my king? Everything is not all right, Anadike. The Queen and I no longer sleep at night. What is going on? Honestly, I am lost at that, Your Majesty. What on earth could it be that could snatch sleep from the eyes of my King and his precious Queen? What? What? I reported to you the case of my son a few days ago. And you said you would consult the girls and get back to me. And my son's condition is not really improving. What are the gods saying? The gods have not said anything yet. Does that mean the prince will remain like that? Can something be done? Your Majesty, how we shall have answers to your question. Your Majesty, what does it mean? Can he open his mouth and say the gods have not said anything? Why on earth would the gods not say anything? I really do not understand what is going on in here. Your Majesty, we have to do something really fast. We can't allow our son to die. May the gods forbid. Nothing will happen to him. My son will come back alive. Yes, he will come back alive. We must do something to make him come back alive. Yes. What exactly do you think we have to do? to get him out of this present condition and bring him back home. Eh? Honey, please. Honey. My love, you have to try to eat something, no matter how little it is. Don't worry, you would definitely walk with your legs again. Your father, the king, is making serious arrangements to fly you abroad for proper treatment. I love. I promise to stand by you through thick and thin. You are my husband and I love you so much. Please eat something. Please, okay? I love. My daughter, how is your husband doing? He's fine. I know it has not been easy for you trying to take care of him in his present condition. But I want to thank you immensely for your effort. If I don't do it, who will do it for me? I'm only doing my work. I don't think anybody should thank me for it. There's not every woman who do what you're doing right now. 
Again, I would like to thank you for your persevering spirit. His uh, medical trip abroad will be in two days' time. So I want you to prepare him early enough. We'll just hope and pray that everything works out well. Okay? Yes. <laughs> My justice will not stop. Uh, <laughs> I know why I'm married. No, I didn't. So what is your doing in the palace by this time of the day? I am the king. The chief priest is free to see his king anytime. I don't think that is a problem. Greetings! A great king and queen of a Jalolo kingdom. Greetings to you, Anyadike, the eyes of the gods. Greetings to you, eyes of the gods. What brings the eyes of the gods to the palace this hot afternoon? Indeed, the toad does not scamper in the daytime in vain. The gods have heard your cries. They have accepted your sacrifice. And finally, they have granted your request. May their name be praised. The prince, your son, will return to this land. But warn him to be very careful. Eyes of the gods, what should we be warning our son against? That the gods have not revealed to me. The message is, warn your son. Warn your son. Warn him to be very, very careful. Um, very well, thank you, my princess. And you? Fine. Okay. How, how is your husband, the prince, doing? Any news from him? He is fine. Exactly what you said even before you traveled. Princess, I don't understand. Does it mean they don't give you detailed information about his condition or what? Alright, so have they been able to tell you when he will be coming back? They have not said that to me. I just pray he comes back as soon as possible. <laughs> you know, his coming back is not even my problem. What bothers me is what his condition will be by the time he returns. <laughs> I can't wait to set my eyes on you again. The night is cold. I feel so lonely. Empty. I wish you were here to take away my loneliness. I miss you so much. Good evening, Your Highness. I'm fine, Your Highness. Did you say I had to be back tomorrow? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. I can't wait. 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 I can't w
longer. I can't wait. I can't wait, Sarah. drama you pulled out there. What's the problem? Jenny, what's the problem? You've come here to question me. No? Who do you think you are? I am your wife. I am your to know why you choose to embarrass me in the presence of everyone. Why you choose to embarrass your pretty wife. A wife that you have not seen for a very long time. I don't see where this conversation is going. So I ask her to stop pushing me and just leave. What have I done wrong? Leave. Just, just leave me alone before I lose my mind. Okay, just, just go. You hear me? My husband, please calm down. He hasn't gotten up to this. Get out. I know they did. I know so what thing happened. You when they did, tell me make I know what they happened. In fact, you still don't understand what I'm talking about. What the poison? What the poison? What in the world are you? Eh? Tell me, what in the world are you? 
You don't always like your story. Do long clothes for person. And you know good. You know good. Now you're dead there. Tell me what thing you see. You know what I'm telling me. And you get one thing about your life when I know like. What? You do always this stingy. Very, very stingy ways to read it. I know that help your life. See, see, Cosmos. I just, I just wanted to make you feel and understand what. Alabai. Only very talk. Fine, 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 fine. I will tell you. Oga pushed his wife away when she was trying to greet and hug him when he was coming down from the car. Lord of Faber, practically pushed. What thing happened? How did things get happen? Is that question for me? Are you asking me? Am I the organ that pushed his wife away? Hey. But Cosmos, you needed to be there. She needed to see how sexy this woman was looking. You needed to see how endowed, how packaged. Cosmos, Cosmos, oh God. You don't do. You don't do. You don't do. See, my Bible talker. See, anybody when they do this kind of thing, what you do now, now hair fire spreads. You know, feel bright, even great person. You do go hair fire. And with the way where you just do this your hand like this, if you take me a stick away and I know go agree. I know fit. Uh -huh. you, you see, madam, fine for the clothes when she will. Don't do it because of hair fire. Welcome, my son. I'm so happy you arrived your fatherland safely. Thank you, Dad. Thank you very much. Uh, but I can't even pretend that I'm not happy. You know, I was hoping to come back here and then find you and mom welcome you. But uh, that didn't happen. Oh, you didn't inform me. Uh, yes, I know. The plan was actually to surprise everyone, including you and mom. But I guess that uh, plan didn't, didn't work out. My son, we tried to cancel our holiday here in Ghana, but we couldn't make it due to flight issues. Don't worry, we'll be back. Uh, it's okay. It's okay, Dad. Um, how is Mom, by the way? She's she's all right. She's resting at the poolside. All right, Dad. My warmest regards to her. All right, my son. See you soon. Okay, Dad. See you. Dad. Your food is ready. Take off your clothes so you can go take your bath. Come have a decent meal. I'll join you in the bathroom. I'm still willing to make you happy. I want to ask you a question, Jay. Go ahead, my friend. Are you a harlot? It's only a harlot who dresses half naked just to welcome a husband to travel and then have the entire community feast on a half nude body. So I ask you again, are you a harlot? No, Was that why you embarrassed me out there today? You lack home training. You should get home training.
you've done enough bad to me to date and good. I am extremely exhausted. I need to get some rest. Jane, wait, 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 wait. Like I used to tell you, marriage is not a bed of roses, you know? Please be calm. Things will be fine. Okay? It will be well again. Mother, you don't understand. What are you saying? Do you know you almost killed me last night? Oh, Jane. Please overlook things. Dina Munye Beneta, I don't care, Jaga. In a day, a rapple, eh? And you just in everything. You know, go overlook, please. Mother, he has completely changed. He's now a total stranger. <laughs> Seeing your husband as a total stranger will just add to your problem. It will not help you at all. Please. You know, go. Jane. Jane, are you listening to me? Jane! is not picking her calls. Eh? What is really wrong with her? What is going on? I hope she's not planning anything stupid because I will not support any rubbish act from her. No. I will not support. I will never support. Here. Hey, Jane. Jane. Jane, you have to pick your call, oh. You have to pick this call. I really need to talk to you. I want to talk to you. You need to pick my call. Huh? What is this? What is, what is all this? What is all this? I, I don't understand. What do you think you're doing? What does it look like I am doing? It's true. I am leaving you for good. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> you're leaving me. Are you serious? In the next couple of minutes, you will realize if I am serious or not. Ah, you should think this through. You will. Think. Do not take an action that you are going to regret. What are you doing here with this bag? That you have come to my house to stay. Mama, what are you talking about? Go back to your husband's house. That is where you belong. That's what I'm saying. I should go back to that beast. 
I'm not going anywhere. I won't go back there. The earlier you start going back to that house, the better for all of us. Now, baby, Now, baby, That your only child should go back to a woman bitter. A man who nearly killed his wife over nothing. But why are you not talking? There's no way I'm going back to work. He's a devil. I'm not going back to him. And that same devil paid your bride price. Listen, Jade. That devil is your husband. Yes. And tradition makes it compulsory that you will live in that devil's house for the rest of your life. Oh yes. And you listen to me. Do not allow the king and the queen to hear that you left your husband's house for any reason. Because it is an abomination. Marriage is for better, for worse. You get that into your thing. What you came back? Oh, what you thought I was going to come after you? Huh? Huh? You thought I was going to run after you, looking for you. My name is Prince Frank. I do not have time of the day to start chasing around useless and idiotic people like you. Hear me and hear me well, Jay. Next time, pull this kind of stuff. Do this. 
You are not going to like my reaction, I assure you. Tina, she's my sweetheart. I would like for you to make this house very comfortable for her whenever she visits. Alright? Um, I don't see the food at the dining room. Where is the food? Jen. Jen. The food. Nice enough. Okay, to please. That way, thank you very much. And I have the food. I have a guest. Is it the 
Cosmo, if you see what my eyes saw a few minutes ago. Hey! Uh, what do you mean that? I heard the prince and that lady making some funny sound. I heard, I heard the sound. It, it was real funny. I knocked. The prince came out. The prince came out half naked. But with the look on his face, I, I suspect something is happening. Something is going on inside that room as we speak. Something is happening. See your life. Like, you see, you, you use your two eyes. I heard how these two English take joy. You see, and I heard they join. So now come on here, you hear. You hear from, from, from background. You don't even see. Now you decide. So with what you heard, you, you are not able to fathom what probably may be going on inside that room. I'm just trying to make you understand. How do you go from what you hear, fathom the... the, 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 the uh, uh, what kind of a person are you? What kind of a human being are you? My Bible talk and more. My Bible talk and say, no, they follow people when no holy. No associate with them. So because I came to tell you what I heard, that is why you think I am... Oh. Good morning, princess. I'm, I'm fine. My princess. Uh, good morning. I uh, hope so you pray for us. So I did. Uh, thank you, my princess. Have a man. Wait. You know drive princess go church? Oh! Oh! See your life? The people I said to drive, you know they hungry again. You don't tire. Today, move something like this. Now you, way to do get man job, don't tire. Between me and you, who is better now? Look at you, the gate is open. Why open? The princess just walked in. Okay, what if now Robert enter now? Hmm? I'm with you. I wanted to take the princess to the church. But she said no, that she wants to use public transport. So what would you have me do? What's her? Wait, oh. you, 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 about the umbrella. Waiting today's date. Eh? Waiting be today's date. Which one today? Uh, today's date. Now, March. Now, March, I'll be April. Uh, March, I'll be come to us. Baby, who's that again? Jude, what is it? Jude! Jude, what is it? Huh? What is it? Oh. Hey. You? Kill yourself over a man that has vowed to make life miserable for you. That same man is my husband, remember? You don't need to remind me of that. Let me ask you for how long do you intend to stay in this place? I don't know. 
I don't know. But I feel like the whole world is, is crashing on me. That's exactly how I feel. I can't even explain it. I feel so terrible. Mm. How do you mean? My husband keeps getting worse by the day. Did he ask you to leave the house? Could have been better. Oh. Princess, talk to me. What is it? Part. Hmm? Now bring me into our matrimonial home. And he sleeps with them. Right. Before me. What? Frank. What type of a man are you? What type of a father will you be to your children when you finally become one? Mom, you're going around in circles now. Come on. Eh? It would be nice if you just, you know, get straight to the point. Tell me what exactly you're talking about because I'm still lost. Frank. Mom. If your children grow up and start bringing women into their matrimonial homes, what will you tell them? As a father. As a man you don't act now, what will you tell your own children? Mom, I don't, I don't get you. Are you implying that I'm irresponsible? Sure you are. How dare you bring another woman into your own matrimonial home? Have you forgotten you're married? That your wife suffered so much to take care of you while you were sick. Is that how to show her gratitude? Mom, you people who went into my regard. Really? Yes. Next time I get such a report about you, you won't like my actions. You won't like what I would do to you. I bet you, you won't like it. Thank you, baby. I can take anything from a man, but certainly not in sleeping with another woman before me. Especially when the man involved is my husband. Easier yes, said. What do I do? Tell me. Don't tell me you don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Obviously, I don't know what to do because I'm very confused. The worst thing that can happen to anyone in your state right now is being confused. Listen to me. You must rise up to the occasion. If you keep quiet, you will lose this fight. Did you say fight? Yes, fight. You must fight for what is yours or get ready to lose it completely. Did you say, tell your mom? Where? Jen, 
can you try another pretend? How? Oh, please, can you just cut out the pretense? What did you... You know what? I don't even care. This will be the last time you would run off to my mother to go report me. You and I are meant to be man and wife. Whatever happens here stays here. Do you understand me? I don't think that you can manipulate me into telling me what happens in my house. It is my house, my room. So when I say jump, you ask me, sir, how high? Alright? Stop running off to go and report me. This is childish. Grow up. Can I help you? So, you're the bitch that wants to snatch my friend's husband and send her out of her matrimonial home. Who is talking? Oh, it's you. Listen, if you ever call me names again, if you ever call me names again, You forever regret it. <laughs> I'm still talking to you. Do I in any way look like the princess to you? And you listen to me. If you try me, I will bury you alive. Stay away from Prince Fran. He is married. Do you understand? Who is talking? Who is talking? Oh, it's you. <laughs> Woo -hoo. Fucking dog. I do not have time for mad woman like you. Now get off my way, please. Did you just call me a mad woman? And did you just touch me? No, did you call me mad? Did you just touch me? <laughs> Did you touch me? Oh, so you are saying I did it? No, that's what you're saying. So if you didn't do it, then who, who, who did? Are you, are you, are you telling me? That my Tina is lying to me now. No, is that what you're saying? No, tell me. You're saying that Tina, Tina is lying to me? No, no, that's not what I'm saying. No, that is what you're implying. Please, you have to believe Believe what? Listen, the only thing I believe is that you and I are done. You hear me? Yes, that's what I believe. This marriage is over. Okay? I can't continue with this nonsense. You see this charade? That has been going on for quite some time. It's over. I can't do it. Get the fuck out of my house! Get your hands off. Get! I said get the bike out of my house! Are you, are you stupid? Go back out of Out! This nonsense is over. I'm done, alright? Make me sick in the stomach. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, put this down. You see, my mom's presence says I'm not going to change anything. You hear me? You don't want to change nothing. You're living and you're living for good. <laughs> what is going on here? Have you all gone? No. All gone. What is good about that? She was just leaving. Leaving to work. <laughs> We have an understanding that the marriage is so where you're going. Why are you with your things outside? Hey! You should come and take this inside. Keep those things and move your hands from them. No, I, I don't you want, want to destroy this marriage. I don't want those bad marriage. You I, don't dare! I don't want you to find Shut it. your mouth! Shut up! What about that? What is that? Simply go inside! Go inside! Frank, if you talk to me again, I'm gonna slap you. I will slap your face. So that your senses will get you back into your head. What is wrong with you? What have you become a beast you are now? What is wrong with you? Get off my way. I'll hit you with it. Rubbish! I'm just going to
Mom, you are interfering. Alright? You are interfering and I'm not going to accept it. I want to clear your head. I want to clear your head. Because I know you've lost it. Come inside. That woman has to go, Mom. She has to go. We are done. This Come is my head. house. This Come is my house. We are done. She has to go. We are totally incompatible. She has to go. And that is final. Frank, I will never go back with you to the house again until she leaves. You cannot say that now, right? Please. I mean, we have plans. We, we, you and I plan to get married. What about happened to those plans? Come on. If you're really serious to get married to me, then divorce her. Send her out of that house. <sighs> Look, it's not that. Uh, it's not as easy as you think. To give me some time. Please. Then let me be. I am not a desperate lady. This is your house. Therefore, you should not allow any woman to come to your house and intimidate you. I've heard what she said, Queen Mother. If I don't have strength for trouble, I don't want trouble. Why do you keep running away from trouble? It's when you keep running away from trouble, or whatever that is chasing after you, it will keep coming after you. But once you decide and become brave to fight what is facing you, you will see it's run away from you. Jane, stand up and fight for your right. Frank is your right. Red House is your house. It's the problem. I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. Nothing good comes. That I can show you. Please, don't tell the king about what happened here today. I know him very well. If you tell him, you will not take it lightly with him. I don't want him to be having issues because of me. Please. Why do you want me to make such a promise to you? And don't you think telling the king about this will change the situation once and for all? Please don't tell him, please, I beg you. Please don't tell him. Jen, can I go home? Excuse me. My princess, why is your face like this? What is wrong with you? What kind of a friend are you? Oh, tell me. What kind of a friend are you? Huh? The very one that loves, cares, and wants the best for a friend. Not enough. You want. My marriage to collapse, right? Beg your pardon. Pardon. Why did you have to go fighting my husband's mistress? Is that in any way your business? Is it? Yes, it is my business. It is my business because you cannot fight for yourself. And if I leave you, that bitch will send you out of that marriage. Pardon. Oh, my princess. God has given people like us the strength to fight for the weak ones like you. But what is this? Calm down, my princess. Huh? So, calm down, let me get you something to cool up with. This is certainly not what it means right now. Huh? Why do you need to do that? Huh? My princess. Calm down. Come down, let me get something. Honey? Honey?
When the food is ready, I was waiting for you to come join me inside. And I am talking. Stay with me. What are you trying to do? Slap me? Did you just... <laughs> Frank... <laughs> don't you ever... think about it. Let alone raising your hands on me. Don't. Don't try it again. You must have eaten something while I was asleep because you have grown wings, Jenny. Huh? <laughs> Let this be the very last time. You will try that rubbish again. Jenny, I'll talk back at me. Huh? I was going to tell you that I'll be going to my father's place today. Um, Myself and the king will have a meeting or pray very hard. But that meeting has nothing to do with you. Because if it does, and I come back to this house, you will find that this house will be too small. Pray very hard. Tell me, I'll be right in this house waiting for you to come back. Princess, I don't seem to understand you. Do you mean you left your matrimonial home for the prince and that lunatic? I don't want to die before my time. Besides, Prince Frank is not the only man on earth. I just don't want to believe you're a coward. What kind of useless statement did you just make? I'm very stubborn. I had no water in my mouth when I said So, why do you want to run away from your marriage? Do you even know how difficult it is to get a husband these days? <laughs> I'd rather remain single than to be in that hell called marriage. Then, I wouldn't want God or your mother to see me as part of the people that made you abandon your marriage. Huh. I heard you, dear friend. But I only beg you to please permit me to spend just this night. And by tomorrow, But if you will not, please tell me now so that I can go. Because my mind is made up. Hello, Dad. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you, Dad. How is Mom? Oh, she's just not around, Dad. But she she left the house yesterday. What are you saying? You are joking, right? Dad, I'm serious. She left the house yesterday. She never returned. You've not seen your wife since yesterday, and you didn't bother to tell me. But Dad, I'm sorry. I just you know she just packed up and left, and I thought that she was going to return at her own time. So. You know, I'm, I'm sorry, Dad. You better go and look for her. Dad? What is wrong with this man? Really? Yes. Who are you talking about? My father, the king. He wants to know where Jane is. Was that what he called? Yeah. Are you a guy in jail? Ask me again. I don't know what it is with my parents and this girl. When I have you here, babe, 
Sweetie, you know what? Please do not let them spoil this beautiful moment of heart. They can't. Forget them. I just look at your beautiful face and I lose my mind, baby. Really? <laughs> I'd love to kiss you. Can I just kiss you? Oh, come give it to me, baby. Just this one time. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Your Majesty, what would you like to have for lunch? On the beyond window, good day, Mrs. Soap. As it pleases Your Majesty. Woman, I believe that your son has gone mad. In fact, he has gone mad. Your Majesty, how do you mean? How can a sane man not know the whereabouts of his wife since yesterday? And he's yet to do something about it. Your Majesty, are you saying that Jane is missing? Going by what your son said, yes. Are you sure our son has not thrown her out of the house? He should better pray that such a thing didn't happen. Else, he'll regret ever having me as a father. She tell you she's coming today. I see her for church. She tell me she did come. You have serious malaria. Malaria? That's your problem. Make sure you keep this to yourself. Do not say it to anybody before you land yourself into trouble. Do you understand me? Cosmos. <laughs> Sir. Why were you earlier today? I could pray. You want to pray? Listen, I don't need to man this gate properly. Do you hear me? No one is allowed to get into this premises except, of course, for my parents, the king and the queen, and then my wife, Mrs. Jane. Yes, sir. Am I clear? Very lucky. Very lucky. You see, no fear. I know God where they serve for heaven. Eh? Where I learn how to pray, now for children. Where I go pray, now for Ekanka. Oh, presently where they worship now, now oh, oh, good. Who you go ask? How you say you die like when Moses die like if you ask Sabian Moses for Bible, at the same prayer school we go. Right. 
Sorry. I didn't mean to do it. Please. You know what shot that? I think I shot that for you. Why did you hear my You asked me to kidnap and eliminate Tina. Because she took over her personal husband. the young lady. Huh? You mean Pat is dead? Yes, sir. Uh, she's dead. Uh, unfortunately, she died before we, we arrived. Okay. But I want to specifically thank you for putting a call across to us. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. As a matter of fact, you're a good neighbor and a good Nigerian as well. A good citizen for that matter. Thank you so much. Officer, immediately I heard the noise from her apartment. I sensed trouble. I knew something was wrong. I decided to call you people. But I, I didn't know she would be dead before you people were before you were alive. Oh, it's a pity. It's a pity we lost her. But once again, I want to thank you. Thank you so well for putting the call across to us. I appreciate that, okay? This is what we tell every Nigerian citizen. Call us on phone when something like this happens. I appreciate you so well. Meanwhile, um, if any need arises for us to call at the station, I will put a call across to you. Okay? That's the problem. Thank you. I will answer that. Okay. Mm. Officer? Sir? Push them inside the vehicle. Sir? Oh, yeah. Move inside the vehicle. Move inside! Stupid big criminal. Jump inside! Now to jump test the vehicle. Keep your jump. Jump inside. Oh, 
witch die. <sighs> yes. So die. Please tell me. Tell me. Who am I? Who are my people? Where am I from? Where am I from? What am I from? Calm down. I'm sorry. What the hell? I know that I have hurt you that time. I haven't lived up to your expectations, Dad. I, I have hurt you through my actions. But Daddy, I have invited you here today to apologize to you. And to tell you that I am truly sorry. For now I know better. Daddy, please forgive. I want to be in your arms again as your son, Dad, for I have nowhere else to go. Please, let the hurt go and find it in your heart to forgive me. Please. Sorry, right, I understand. Life is like a journey into the unknown. And we must live it one day at a time. I'm glad we have learned the lesson. treated you less than you actually are. I am sorry. Please forgive me. I have come to realize that you're not just my wife, but a gift to me. I've come to that realization, but I just hope it's not too late. Just me. Find it in your heart to forgive. I know no other person that I intend to do this journey. To get on this journey with Papa Frank. No one else is fit, no one else qualifies more than you are. If you just forgive me, I promise to be a better man right in front of you. If you just forgive me and give me another chance, I promise to do right. My daughter, please forgive him. You said you were going to do everything I asked you to do for me. You made that promise to me. Now I beg you to please forgive me. For my sake, forgive him. You know he didn't act on his own. Better husband now. Please, 
No, I know that. And I know that I do not want to live the rest of my life without you. What you have? 